What is up YouTube? It is Matt back with another crypto video and today is the day. On today's video, you have a chance to win $10 worth of Bitcoin for free. Uh, the rules are very simple. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications when I post new content and uh, leave a comment on this video with your Bitcoin address. And then probably tomorrow, maybe on Monday, I'm going to give it time to let comments build up so more people have a chance to win. I will post a video showing the winner. I will use an app that picks a random comment on this video and uh, show you guys the winner. So getting right to it, today's video is pitting two of my favorite altcoins against each other, and that is Tron's TRX versus Cardano ADA, clash of the promising cryptocurrency projects. Since I dedicated a video the other day to Tron specifically, I will finish this video off with a couple of articles out about Cardano specifically, and there are certainly uh, some new and exciting news coming, about, coming out about Cardano. So uh, this first article here, Tron versus TRX. Uh, virtual currencies are gaining popularity by the day, two of these being Tron TRX and Cardano ADA. These two altcoins have been dominating the news headlines and playing a major role in the crypto world. Currently, Tron ranks 12th, while Cardano ranks 9th in coin market cap. Many individuals and organizations are using cryptocurrencies as, investment, as an investment asset. Hence, it is vital to be in the know of their various attributes and features so you can pick the best alternative to investments. Here we will discuss the main features of Tron and Cardano as virtual assets and their potential for continuous growth in the coin market cap. So Tron TRX, uh, first for those new to Tron, it is a decentralized entertainment and content sharing platform which utilizes blockchain and peer-to-peer -peer technology. It was founded by Justin Sun, the CEO, and its official cryptocurrency is Tronix, TRX. Its mission is to create a worldwide free content entertainment ecosystem, enabling the content creator to receive all the profit they have earned without having to go through giant corporates such as Google. And certainly that is good news for uh, our favorite celebrities as they will be making a little bit more money and uh, we could be purchasing their content for a little bit cheaper if we eliminate these middlemen such as Google and uh, YouTube or whoever, you know. Uh, so this year, Tron has uh, had many successes, including the launch of the testnet, on the 31st of March, followed by the mainnet on the 31st of May, it, also, it purchased BitTorrent, which has become a significant pillar to the Tron's new project, Atlas. Uh, Tron held its first super representative election on June 26th. It also went ahead with its token migration, which ended on June 25th, where Tron's coins migrated to the Tron blockchain platform, separating from Ethereum's network completely. This led to the Tron mainnet becoming fully independent from Ethereum's blockchain. The beta version of the Tron virtual machine was successfully launched on July 30th, and just recently, on August 30th, they launched it for the public. From this, Tron is truly going in, going all in for the win, and cryptocurrency has undoubted potential for to grow. And I think this article uh, did a great job of explaining uh, the successes Tron has had recently, but I think they left out a couple uh, also big wins for Tron, and that is its integration into the Bitcoin Superstore, which allows users to uh, use Tron as a form of payment for over 200,000 online retail stores, including Walmart and Amazon. And certainly that's big news. Uh, Tron has also purchased blockchain.org, and they're intending to use that website to be the go uh, quote unquote Google of all cryptocurrency and blockchain related information. It's supposed to be the go-to website for really any information you need about or revolving around uh, cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. Uh, Tron is also being listed on many, many, many new exchanges seemingly on a daily basis, uh, increasing its global awareness and its use and uh, potential to grow around the entire world. So certainly good news out of Tron these past six months. They have uh, upheld all of their promises on when these updates will be released and launched, and uh, it's certainly exciting to watch. So switching to Cardano 88, Cardano was began in 2015 by businessman Charles Hoskinson, who was formerly Ethereum and Ethereum Classics co-founder. And the fact that he uh, was a co-founder in both of these major coins is, is really significant for Cardano in itself. Uh, he, he saw that both of these became successful, and I fully believe that uh, Cardano will be just as successful. So it is a fully open source, decentralized public blockchain and cryptocurrency project developing a smart contract platform which seeks to deliver more advanced features than any other protocol previously developed, and that is including the almighty Ethereum. Uh, it is the first blockchain um, platform to evolve out of scientific philosophy. 
It was developed by a large global team of experts, uh, expert engineers and researchers who have had extensive background in the crypto domain. Its mainnet becomes fully operational soon, and it expects to get global recognition and adoption as, the, as a blockchain company. Both currencies seem promising to invest in as they target to introduce real-life solutions to problems and are developed by experts who aim to deliver the, their best in the crypto market. Now, this uh, article does not detail a clear winner, so I will decide that for you. And again, this is my opinion. Uh, so I will give a short-term winner and then my opinion on the long-term winner. So I think short-term, Tron has certainly taken the cake. Within a six-month span, they've launched in their testnet, uh, mainnet, and then the Tron virtual machine. They've held their super representative election. They've been added to Bitcoin Superstore. They've bought... BitTorrent, they've bought blockchain.org, they're getting listed on so many different exchanges. So I think definitely Tron has um, taken the trophy here in the short term. But I think long term, if Cardano can complete their smart contract system, I think it will be one of, if not the top cryptocurrencies on the market. And that is because of how, um, how advanced their system really is and how, how useful it will be in the future. It really could revolutionize um, how really any transaction takes place, not just between crypto and crypto, but it could revolutionize the real estate industry by eliminating uh, the need for the middleman and escrow funds uh, with their smart contract system. So I think long term, Cardano can definitely be the winner between these two, but uh, Tron is certainly uh, having massive success here recently, and it's really exciting to watch. So switching to these next articles about Cardano specifically, how Cardano ADA will use Geonomo to enhance interoperability and standards. Now, this is a uh, pretty large word, so if you're unfamiliar with the definition of interoperability, I provided it for you here, and that is the ability of computer systems or software to exchange and make use of information. So it's referring to uh, how it will exchange information on its smart contract system. And in a, used in a military sense, it's the ability of military equipment or groups to operate in conjunction with each other. So back to the article. Uh, Geonomo is an open source project by Long Finance Distributed Features Research Program. The idea is profoundly financed by Cardano ADA Foundation, and it is targeted towards researching and sharing methods employed in a smart ledger geostamping. It enjoys progress owing to its ways of recording data that also aid efficient retrieval. It is no doubt that applications need to go beyond storing transactions simply by timestamping. They, uh, they require geolocation information. This has led to the rise of geostamping. Geostamping is seen in the combination of timestamping and geolocation information. And really that's important. Uh, not only do we need to know when a transaction took place, but we need to know where it's coming from and where it's going to. So the fact uh, they're adding these geostamps to their information is, is huge and just really showing how advanced Cardano aims to be. So the innovation, uh, Geonomo has built a built to share three approaches for recording aerial information. That is one, a quaternary triangular system, a quaternary rectangular system, and an A-variable rectangular system. All this can be used to record geographic areas into a blockchain by uh, generating source code in an online translation from latitude and longitude areas to geocodes. In this wise, the blockchain can use, or use case has an immediate global postcode, uh, postcode or global zip code system. And certainly that's really what cryptocurrency needs to be used on a global scale if we're gonna be using it for global trade. And um, it's really exciting that Cardano is uh, succeeding in this area and really, again, showing how advanced Cardano's smart contract system aims to be. And I really can't wait for them to release it uh, so, um, in the research work published by Long Finance, it was indicated that Geonomo is an open source project exploring various forms of geocoding for use in smart ledgers, aka blockchains with embedded computer code. The Geonomo project focuses on memorable systems that provide easy ways to aggregate areas together, as well as giving users some clues to the location and distance and scale. And certainly this system will help with the scalability issues uh, that we see with cryptocurrency as well. So a uh, quick note on this last article I have here is that Bittrex is open uh, crypto fiat pairs for Cardano and Zcash as well. So it is not uh, everywhere, but in some states, you can now buy Cardano directly with fiat currency. And that's, that's big news for Cardano. And the reason for that is, uh, again, not every currency you can do that with. And if they 
agree to allow you to purchase Cardano with fiat. It just goes to show uh, that it's a stable currency. Certainly, uh, if, if it's, if it's uh, less stable than some of these other currencies, that's why you can't purchase it with fiat directly because people don't want to lose their value of uh, their cryptocurrency immediately with how volatile these markets are. So uh, it's good news coming out that you can now buy Cardano directly with fiat on the Bittrex exchange in some states here in the United States. Uh, that will wrap up this video. Again, uh, leave a comment with your Bitcoin address on it if you want to win $10 worth of Bitcoin for free. The winner will be posted either tomorrow, maybe Monday. I'm going to give it time to uh, add up more comments, give more people a chance to win. And again, if you enjoy this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to get notifications, and uh, like it, share it, leave a comment, and I will see you guys later.